Hello yogis and welcome to day four of the Yoga Body Boot Camp. How are you feeling? Hopefully really good, maybe a little bit sore. If you're wondering what the Yoga Body Boot Camp is, check the description below and sign up for the free seven day email series. I promise you will love it. Uh, today's focus is opening our heart and our hips. It's going to be a wonderful practice. I highly recommend getting some kind of towel or blanket for your knees as well as a strap or a towel or scarf. With that said, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button, show us some support, and unroll your yoga mat, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start lying down on our bellies today and move into a really wonderful, slightly intense shoulder opener. So take the left arm out to a goal post shape, making sure the elbow is coming directly out of the shoulder socket, and then slowly roll onto your left hip, bringing your, fore, your head down toward the earth, and that right leg can rest behind you with a bent knee, or you can let it go straight out. That is a little bit more intense though. So find what feels good. We are just starting our practice, so please take it slow. We don't need to over-intensify anything. And just take five breaths here. Feeling yourself Really stretch and release across the chest, the pectoral muscle area, the shoulder. <sighs> Two more breaths. Next inhale, begin to roll back onto the belly and just make your way to the other side. Move nice and slow. The right arm's gonna come out to that goal post. Elbow directly out of the shoulder socket. Roll onto the right hip. And slowly lift the left leg, the left toes, and find what feels good. Really settle into a space that's comfortable, not overly intense. Five breaths. Steady inhales, steady exhales. One more round of breath. With control, roll back onto your belly and just place one hand on top of the other. Forehead rests down onto the hands. Coming into crocodile pose. Really gentle back bend. Super restorative and soothing. One more breath here. And then keeping the body as it is, relax the forehead down to the earth. Send the hands back behind you with the tops of the hands on the ground. Bring big toes together to touch. Energize the legs, so feel the kneecaps lift. On an inhale, I want you to lift just your chest. So big inhale, push the tops of the hand to the earth, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back, energize through the legs, push the pubic bone into the earth. One more round of breath here. Exhale, lower slowly, forehead down. Okay, this time we're gonna lift the forehead, the chest, and the hands. So big inhale, peel the body off the ground. Bring the hands with it, reach the fingertips back. One more round of breath. Slowly lower. I'm guessing you know where we're going, but the next inhale, forehead, chest, 
hands and legs and feet will lift. Do that from the top all the way to the bottom though. So on an inhale, lift forehead, chest, hands, legs too. Three breaths here. Keep the big toes together. Keep fingertips reaching back. Belly slightly engaged. You're still looking down towards the earth, not cranking the neck. One more full round of breath here. Slowly lower. From here, I want you to interlace the hands behind the head. Let the feet come to about hip width distance. Again, energize the legs. On an inhale, lift just the head off the ground, so like backward crunches. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, elbows wide. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale and lower. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, release. Release the hands. Take it back. Child's pose. Send the knees nice and wide. Hips go back. Forehead softens. Next inhale, lift the gaze. We're coming into puppy pose. If you're not familiar with puppy pose, um, I'm gonna cue you through it. If you're into puppy pose, just move straight there. So hips are stacked over the knees. We're gonna begin to slide the hands out as we melt the chest down towards the earth. You can come to forehead or chin resting on the ground. Take your time here, really big shoulder and chest opener. We're staying for five. Next inhale, push into the hands and the forearms, bring the body forward, come into Sphinx Pose. Whew. So realign the body, elbows underneath shoulders, big toes together now at the back of the mat. Energize the legs and pull the heart through for three breaths. Really push the ground away here. Two more rounds of breath. Last big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands back by the rib cage. Push up, plank pose. Listen carefully. We're going to start on the left side with lizard hip core work. Inhale to hover the left leg. Energize through the toes. Exhale, knee to tricep and plant the foot outside the wrist. Lower the hips down for an inhale. Pull the heart through. Exhale, lift the hips, take it back, plank pose. We're going to do that for five times. All right, here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hug, knee in and step. Inhale, drop the hips, open the heart. Feels so good. Exhale, lift the hips, send it back, plank pose. Inhale, hover. Exhale, step. Inhale, drop hips, open heart. Exhale, lift hips, send it back, plank pose. Inhale, hover left. Exhale and step as you hug it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift, take it back, plank pose. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, hug and step. This time we're going to come all the way down to the right knee, coming into lizard pose. Make sure that the left toes are facing out and you're like at about 11 o'clock with the toes, 10.30. The knee though is, hug the left knee's hugging in towards the body. If you're super bendy and you're ready to go for it, you can drop down to your forearms or a block. I will be right up here. 
actually coming up onto my tippy fingers and really lifting through the chest, finding a deep stretch through that right hip flexor. Two breaths here, guys. Last inhale. Come back to planted hands, curl the right toes under, lift the back knee. We're coming into pigeon pose. So lift the left leg up, slide the foot in and the shin goes towards the front of the mat. Right leg goes back. Take a big inhale, lift that chest. Exhale, lower down for three breaths. We're getting right into those hips. Yeah, we're not wasting any time. So breathe deep. Send the inhale to where the tension is residing and the exhale to dispel that tension. One more round of breath. Inhale, walk the chest back up. Plant the hands, curl the back toes under. Take it back to plank pose. Moving nice and slow here, okay? Right side, same thing. Inhale, hover right. Exhale and hug the knee in. Step it outside the right wrist. Drop the hips, open the heart. Exhale, lift hips, take it back, plank pose. Inhale, hover. Exhale, hug and step. Inhale, drop hips open. Exhale, send it back, plank pose. Inhale, hover. Exhale, step. Inhale, drop hips open heart. Lift hips, take it back, plank pose. Inhale, hover. Exhale, step. Drop those hips, open that heart. Lift those hips, take it back, plank pose. Last time, guys. Inhale, hover right. Exhale and step it up there and then drop the left knee down towards the earth, coming into lizard pose for three bat breaths. The right toes are catty cornered out to the side of your mat. You're lifting through your chest. If you're super gumby, you're dropping down to your forearms. I'm hanging out up here. Hug that right knee in towards the body instead of letting it flare out. Coming into that pigeon pose, so curl the left toes under, pick up the back knee, make space so that you can lift the right leg and slide it through, pigeon pose kapotasana. Take one inhale to prepare and lift up. Exhale, lower down. Three rounds of breath. Really sink into the moment. Bring the mind into the body if it wandered away. Next inhale, lift all the way up. And this time as you curl the left toes under, step the right foot back, find downward facing dog. Whew. So first down dog, right? You guys know what to do. We talk about this every class and probably every yoga teacher says it. Walk your dog. Bicycle the legs, bend the knees, wiggle the hips. And then try and find two breaths of stillness here. One more round. Alrighty, let's get to flowing. Inhale that right leg straight up and back to the sky. Exhale, hug right knee in towards the nose. Plant the foot. Left foot pivots down to a 45 degree angle. We're rising up Virabhadrasana one. So really sending energy back through the knife edge of the left foot, really activating through that leg so that you can then turn the body and find that rotation in the hips. Yeah, we're here for three more breaths. So lifting hip points up towards the heart, making space in the lower back region. Two more deep breaths here.
Next inhale, release the hands back behind you, clasp them, reach the heart up towards the sky, preparing for humble warrior. Exhale, lower the body down, the right shoulder comes towards the inside of the right foot. Make space for the body to lower down. They say one day we'll all reach our head to the earth, but yeah, I'm not too sure about that for me. <laughs> Take one more round of breath here. Next inhale, lift the chest just halfway, pivot onto the ball of the back left foot and hop the foot in halfway. We're coming into bound warrior three here. So leave the hands exactly as they are, engage the belly, push off the back leg, drive into the front leg, warrior three with bound arms. Energize through the back toes, all the way through the crown of the head, one long line of energy, guys. Two more breaths. Slowly bend the back leg, come back, step the left foot down, and just lift straight up, straighten both legs. We're preparing for bound pyramid pose, all right? So the front foot, right foot's facing forward. You can hop the back foot in. You're about two to three feet distance, okay? Wrap the elbows behind the back, or if you have reverse namaste, feel free to take it. Take a big breath here, lift through the chest, Exhale, slowly lower, hips are square. You're hugging muscle to bone here. Take your time, find a drishti point as you lower the head and neck all the way down. Your right leg should be talking to you. The outer IT band, well the IT band is outer, but the outer right leg, the IT band, all the way up through the hip. One more round of breath here. Inhale, lift up halfway, bend the right knee, step forward to Das to Das in a mountain pose, release the hands down by your side, take a round of breath. <sighs> Inhale the arms up high. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Let it go, head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway. Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale your way to upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. So take your time. Moving through a traditional vinyasa or whatever you need right now. Same, same, other side. Inhale the left leg straight up. Exhale, step it through, plant the foot. When you're ready, rise up, Vira Bhadrasana 1. Bring that attention to the back knife edge, rotating the hips, hugging the hip points up, taking your time coming into it, three deep breaths. Inhale to bind the hands behind the back, Puff the chest up, nice and proud. Exhale, humble warrior. So the left shoulder is coming in towards the inside of the body. Make sure you're squaring the hips off so the left hip wants to flare out to the side of the mat. We want to hug it back into the midline here. Take two more breaths here. On the next inhale, lift up halfway, keep the bind. Pivot onto the ball of the right foot and hop the foot in halfway. Gaze down, find your drishti point. Rise up, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Take your time. Energize from crown of the head all the way to the heel. Use that breath. One more inhale. Exhale to bend the left knee, step the right foot back about two to three feet, and then find your elbow clasp or reverse namaste, whatever's in your practice. Square the hips off, big inhale. 
Exhale, lower down. Take your time, continue squaring the hips, hugging muscle to bone on both legs. One more round of breath, keep rolling the shoulders back. Inhale, lift that gaze, bend into the left foot, left knee, step the right foot forward, release the hands, mountain pose. Round of breath, reconnect. Inhale, the arms up to the sky, reach through the fingertips, gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Last opportunity for a sun salutation here. Exhale your way to downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. And then slowly lower the knees down to the mat. This is where if you have a blanket or a towel, you want to locate it and also grab your strap or scarf, whatever you're working with today. We're coming into toe stand. So I want you to curl the toes under. Also have your strap right in front of your body. Curl the toes under, bring the knees together and sit the heel, the bum back on the heels, okay? From here, find that strap. We're gonna bring it shoulder, much wider than shoulder with distance, okay? Make sure you keep hugging the knees together here, engaging the core. We're gonna do three rounds of bringing it up and over. It's gonna feel so good. So here we go, inhale, bring the strap all the way up overhead. Exhale, let it roll back behind you. Ooh, huge chest opener there. Inhale it back up and over. Take your time, please. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Huge breaths here. Exhale, lower. Use that breath as a tool. Last time. Exhale, lower down behind you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Release that strap off to the side, and we're coming into frog pose. So if your blanket or towel is out, perfect. We're going to slowly start to separate the legs, the knees, as wide as you can. Then you're gonna bring the heels, in, the ankles in line with the knees, right? So everything is always stacking up in our body in yoga. Once you're there, we're gonna slowly lower onto our forearms if that is in your practice. If not, you can stay lifted, okay? We're gonna stay for about a minute. So get as comfortable as you can. Make sure that you're not banana backing, so sagging the belly down to the earth. Really still continue to lift up. Make space in the lower back. If you're finding that you feel like you need more, just push into your hands really softly and start to send the hips back. Oh yeah, you'll feel it immediately. And just breathe. Stay present. You can begin to slide the knees a little bit further apart as the body begins to open more. You can also do some neck rolls here.
continue breathing, hanging out. You got this. Five more breaths. Take one more big inhale here. Listen carefully, exhale, place the hands down, you're on the forearms, and slowly hinge forward and just come onto the belly as you stretch the legs out behind you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> from here, just wind, bend the knees and windshield wipe the legs from side to side, releasing that tension. Alrighty, coming into bow pose, Danyarasana. Come onto the forehead, bend both knees. We're gonna reach back for one ankle at a time, top of the foot or ankle, whatever you choose, and rest the forehead down once you have the bind. Bring knees together to touch. Do your best to keep them together as we lift up. On an inhale, kick your feet into the hands. We'll hold for three breaths. Inhale, breath, lift up. Exhale, lower down and release. Crocodile, one hand on top of the other, the leg stretch long. Bend those knees, we'll go one more time. Reach back for ankles or tops of the feet. Relax the head down for a moment. Knees together. On an inhale, let's rise up, big inhale. One more breath. Slowly lower down and just roll onto your back. Once you get onto your back, take the feet as wide as your mat and let the knees knock in towards one another. Making space in that lower back area. Just breathing here. On the next inhale, bring both knees into the chest for Apanasana. And hug them in towards the chest nice and tight as you soften the spine, the tailbone back towards the mat. So finding that opposition here. Inhale, breath. Exhale the knees all the way over to the left. Just let them fall to the left. The right arm goes out long. Next inhale, bring the knees back through to center and take them over to the right. Left arm reaches out. Inhale the legs back through to center. One more nice tight ball, hug the knees in. This time, inhale to curl up nice and tight. Bring the forehead and the nose in between the legs. Wrap the arms around. See if you can catch both elbows. Take a big inhale here. Exhale completely in your ball. And inhale, open up for Shavasana. 
Legs go long, as wide or wider than your mat. Arms rest down by your sides. Start to let everything melt down, the practice to integrate. Feeling that shift in the body from making space and opening and releasing. Take one more inhale. Let it go. It's time to rest. You deserve it. Shavasana. On your next inhale, slowly invite deeper breaths into the body. From there, wiggle your fingers and toes. Circle your ankles and wrists. Inhaling the arms over the head, bringing the legs together. And exhaling, bending the knees, coming to your favorite side for fetal pose. Bottom arm is a pillow. Next inhale, lift the body up. Come into a seated position. Keep the eyes gently closed. Hands to the knees, lift up through the crown of the head. Big inhale, breath. Exhale, release. Hands to heart center, big inhale, breath. Exhale, release. Last time, big inhale, breath. Let it go. Open those eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. Just a reminder, if you want to have this entire series delivered to you straight to your inbox for free, sign up in the description below. We'll meet you back in the Zen Den here next time. Namaste.